welcome back to Wicked Wands Tarot. My name is Carmen, and today we're going to do a reading for Libra. Let's call in spirit with some moonshine time. Oh, maybe we have some good news for you, Libra. Seems kind of positive. All right, let's see. We're going to start with the Golden Art Nouveau. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Look what we've got to start. Holy shit, buckets. <laughs> Libra, this is great. We have strength and the empress coming out for you. So I feel like I'm reading for somebody who has really demonstrated their ability to weather the storm, to deal with a lot of different kinds of issues. This could have been internal and external. So this could have been things like codependency or dealing with a toxic work environment. Somebody has handled all of this and come out looking very classy, you know, somebody who understands how to communicate and how to invest wisely. This person with the higher font in the reverse could be avoiding relationships right now. This seems like somebody that really wants to be independent. There could be Leo in somebody's chart here. I don't know, I keep getting drawn to the lion. But I also feel like there could be some element here where the person I'm describing or the person I'm reading for may have gone through some really difficult things that seemed a little bit outrageous at times. Queen of Swords in the reverse, probably the perpetrator. But those difficult times, even though they may have initially caused a distance between this individual and whoever you know, is their spiritual deity. I feel like there's been a coming home. Somebody has now a stronger connection spiritually or religiously. Even though somebody really tried hard to break that. This is creepy, Libra. We have somebody who I think was fucking with a light worker trying to basically create so much difficulty for somebody that they would lose their faith. Who does that with their Tuesday night? Like, I get the sense this is somebody who probably dabbles in some not nice spells. <laughs> not a fan. I'm a big believer in you get what you put out. And if you're putting out negative energy, that's going to come back to you. So I literally wish healing upon everyone. I want everyone to be happy. Everyone to be on that path. And I will do what I have to, to help those that want to be helped, right? But we have an ace of wands here. And I feel like what I was just describing is how this empress is, right? This is somebody who is or was determined to create a new beginning for herself. And despite people doubting her or even working against her, she has found it. I feel like there's been kind of an interesting back and forth, kind of like a playful conversation internally for this empress of, I know I have good things coming to me. I know there's abundance waiting for me because I have done my best to do right by people and right by myself. But there's also like a little bit of impatience, like, I've been doing what I need to. Why am I still dealing with some of this bullshit, right? Like maybe there's still some elements of this Queen of Swords in the reverse messing with this person. There could have been at some point some kind of 
excommunication or exclusion from a social community. This could be a family, this could be a book club, this could be a school environment, but there's somebody here who I believe was spreading negative, probably lies, but negative gossip about this empress in an attempt to get everybody to make her feel isolated and alone. This person could have been influenced by some not very angelic energies and it looks to me like they initially saw some success with what they were trying to create. They were able to convince people this is how you should see this person. But over time, these secrets have started to come out. The truth has started to come out. We have the Knight of Cups in the reverse. I think honestly the biggest thing here is just we have two very different personalities and over time people realize that somebody was more committed to truth and somebody was more committed to manipulation. We're going to use the noisy cards, as I like to call them. I don't know if I've shown you guys this cool rock, but I have no idea what it is. It's really fucking cool though. So there are people here that are upset with this feminine energy for the luck or abundance she seems to draw in. And the fact that she's willing to cut people off or let people go she only holds things that actually benefit her, right? She's gotten discerning. She is the Queen of Swords in the upright, would be my guess. The higher font again in the reverse in the same column, you guys. That's weird. I get a sense that somebody was trying to frame this Empress as being a hoe. I don't, I don't know how you want me to say it, but a hoe. Um, so this could be somebody who is, if she's coming out as the Queen of Wands, somebody who's very attractive, somebody who's a glory, maybe she's got a really like magnetic personality, and there's something about this individual, this Queen of Swords in the reverse, trying to make this appear as a bad thing, right? Like, oh, well, yeah, she's a prostitute, you know, or she's a slut, you know, whatever it is. But with death coming out to clarify judgment, people are realizing that whatever this initial judgment was that was passed on this Queen of Wands or Empress energy, it wasn't true. They've changed their mind. What was once excluded or who was once excluded is now beloved. This person has won people over. We have the King of Cups clarifying the Knight of Cups in the reverse. The people who initially rejected and talked badly about this Empress have now seen her for her true value. And now it's like, I don't know, I kind of get the vibe that people are like actually kind of intrigued. They want more. They don't want her to take her energy away. Some may be crushing on her. Those that have not put in the time or investment with her, she is leaving behind. So there are people who are having some difficulty with this. They wanted her to, yeah, Five of Pentacles in the reverse. They wanted her to stay. They wanted her to let them come and go as they wanted. You have the Two of Pentacles clarifying the Ace of Cups. There's something here about being able to stabilize during difficult times and self-love. This Empress has shown a lot of people that she has a commitment to self-respect and self-love and that she doesn't, like she does things gracefully. She goes through difficult things, but she doesn't like 
you know, throw a fit. We have the chariot clarifying the king of cups. There's somebody here rushing in. Somebody who has feelings for this empress. This could be a water sign or somebody has water in their chart. Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. This is somebody who has put down the burdens they were carrying and they no longer want to walk alone. They want to join this Queen of Wands on her journey. There may be something here about having some healing left undone though. Guys, I told you she was the Queen of Swords in the upright. She has worked on her boundaries. She has a respect for the truth and for solitude. So people have realized now that getting her time is exceedingly difficult. So there's something about this community that has resulted in a lot of people that were breadcrumbing or disloyal. And there is an effort now by this empress to make sure that her social community is one that is made up of people that are loyal. If they are not loyal, she does not keep them around or let them in. I hope you enjoyed your reading today, Libra, and that you have a wonderful rest of your day. Thank you for all the likes and subscribes.